Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're going to cover the multi-cut tool. So I think I will take this right here and I will hit control one and move things as we need to. One of the best ways to show some of the features of the multi-cut tool is to use a plain surface, but we're going to show some other features as well with some of the other objects that I created. Okay, you can go use this icon right here, multi-cut tool icon. You can go into mesh tools, multi-cut. You see here there's also a hotkey, control shift X. You can get into the settings here, uh, which are great because they give you the keyboard mouse shortcuts, which we're going to go through here in a second. Another way we can do it is multi-cut here in the modeling toolkit, as well as, if I deselect this, as well as, we're in face mode, as well as shift, right click, and multi-cut. Okay? So... Really nice feature there. Many different ways to get to this tool. Let's take a look. If you go left mouse button, you can click or drop edit points. Now when they say edit points, let's say I just want to make a little design here. Uh, click right here, click right here. I can click all over the place. Click wherever I want. And I can keep going just like CV edit points, things like that. Uh, let's see, let's see, I want to go here. And then to commit, you hit enter. But make sure this is on the <laughs> is on the object. You hit enter, and there you go. You hit Q to get out of multi cut, or you can click click on or click off, toggle on or off. That's actually probably a better feature there. And if you wanted to go into you know face mode, you can select these various things and you know delete. And there you go. You know, and you can do that with 3D objects as well. Okay. Next thing that we want to take a look at, go back into multi-cut, is control left mouse button. If you hit control mouse button, you actually can make edge loops, which is really wonderful. Now, if you remember from quad draw, if you hit control middle mouse button, you can find the middle of that edge, this, this, this edge here on the side here. And if I do it again, I can find the middle and the middle. So that's a really nice feature there. Um, click or drag off mesh to slice. Yes, if you take from anywhere off of the plane or whatever, and you go like there, you can slice. If you click and click, you can also enter and, and commit to it. But if you take it and drag, you don't have to hit enter and commit to commit. Middle mouse button tweak last drop point. Well, let's do it. Let's do there. And then middle mouse button allows you to to tweak it. But you know what? If you hit the middle mouse button, you can also uh, just drag it as well. Let's see. Drag on mesh to quick slice. We've done that. Backspace is great. So backspace will delete those last points. If we want to look closer, it will delete those, delete those last points. And let's see. What else? Click to snap point along edge of the midpoint. Shift left mouse button. Notice the black here will give you your middle mouse button. So let me hit F to frame and back up here so we can really see what's going on. Um, shift will get you right there in the middle, right there, if you need to just add something right there, okay? Or if you want to do it here, you can do that as well. So that's one way to do it. If you want to constrain to per perpendicular angles, you can do this and then go, I'm sorry, sorry about that. I needed to commit. We can click here and then go control shift and that'll give us where we need to be as far as 90 degree angles. And then of course, snap to grid, snap to points in X and V. And of course, don't forget hitting enter commits the cut. All right, so those are the basic features of the multi-tool kit. Uh, multi-tool kit? The multi-cut tool. There it is. Dyslexia.